Hey guys, I'm about to make another video. For some reason, my moon roof won't shut. I think the switch is bad in it, so I'm gonna show you how to hotwire it to get it to close until you can replace the switch. First thing you wanna do, there's a, a Phillips head screw that's in the very back right here. One screw. You take that screw out. You take this screw out right here, which is to be a Phillips head screw. It'll come out, and once you take that out, Next, what you want to do is just pull it down on just four snaps in each corner that snaps it up. So you want to just pull it, you'll hear it snap as you pull it. And once you do that, it'll come down. Then once you bring it down, you'll see this piece right here which plugs right into this right here. It'll plug right into this part, right there like that. And what you want to do is just, there's a little snap thing on the back, so you just kind of pull, push this in or pull out on this black piece, if you can see it, kind of pull out on that, and that will allow this right here to come out. Once you've done that, now this is actually what controls your window. Next, you might want to take this, so you don't want to let it hang because you have wires right here that may break. So you might want to just take it and snap the back two, or at least one, back up into it, letting this wire right here hang out. Now when you're looking at this, if you can notice, you'll see there's one, two, three, four, five metal bars that's inside of here. These are actually what your switch plugs into to control your window. So next, all you will need is a little piece of wire that you want to use. I just took an old charger I had and broke it apart and took a piece of wire and I took the two ends of it. So now, to close your window, having it like this with the two at the bottom, three at the top, you want to take the end of the wire and plug it into the first hole on this side and then the last hole on this. And when I do this, you gotta have your vehicle on also so it's getting power. So I'm gonna turn the key forward to give it some power. I don't have to have the light so long as I got some power. And then once you do that, now you can watch, you'll hear the window, if you pay attention to the window also, and you touch this, this first one. See it, shut the window. That's how you would shut your window if you can't if your switch stops working and to open your window take it and leave it in that same one and just touch the two right beside each other and that'll open your window to, to close your window you just want to touch the the second one at the bottom and the first don't touch the rest on because it'll make sparks because now you're kind of shorting it out so touch the second one here and then the first one and that'll close your window for you Get it all the way shut. Okay. And once you've done that, it's closed. And now the next thing that you would want to do is actually to, when you get a chance to change out the switch, which now you need just to pop this out right here. It has like some little things on it. You may have to take like a screwdriver or something to be able to pop it out. To pop it out of here. You just want to take it out and then replace the switch. And once you stick a new switch in here, you would take this, plug this back in here like that, and then look for those four little things right here. One, two, three, four. And then you just want to plug these back in here like this and snap it up. Make sure I got that all the way in. Just want to plug it in. Hold on. Sure, I got the back one. I got to pull this one. Yeah. You want to make sure you got the things like that and snap it in. And then you want to take your screw and put your one screw back inside of here. Pretty much, and you're good. 
once again guys this is how to pretty much override your switch if it won't open or close your window right with a simple wire all right thanks i'll also be putting up a video of showing how to put the switch in too later this is the screw right here it's just a basic phillips head screw that goes in the back right in here <coughs> So once you get it in there, you just kind of want to tighten it up. And that's actually the only screw that you need to use to um, take this thing down. But once again, guys, thanks for watching the video. And here's the wire also that I use. I just took just a basic, I took a charge and just ripped it and then took the wire out and took the two ends of it just to use it. So I keep this in the car just in case it ever happens again. It's out raining somewhere or whatever. I can hurry up and fix it. But thanks a lot for watching. Put that right here. Skeleton key. Thanks.